Hi, I'm DJ Schurz. In this tutorial video, we're going to introduce the EZB, what all the pins are for, and how it works. This is the EZB. It's the brain of your robot. Every body of every robot has a slot in the back to insert your brain. Power it up, the little light will come on and tell you that it has power. The logo points to the top of the EZB. This button here is a reset button to reset the Wi-Fi configuration. These ports here are digital ports, as well as down here are digital ports. They're used for powering servos, pulse width modulation, turning on and off LEDs, etc. The power pins on these digital ports are not voltage regulated. That means the number of volts you provide to the EZB will also come out of these ports here. The robots are powered with 7.4 volt lithium polymer batteries, which means our servos are made for 7.4 volts. When you plug a servo into one of these ports, and here's a servo here, put your ground wire, which is either black, brown, it depends on the kind of servo you use, with the black pin. And you insert it in there. You'll notice on the side of all the digital ports are numbers for each port. So in the software you'll find D0, D1, D2, D3, etc. all the way to D23. So there's 24 digital ports. On the other side of the board, the similar looking ports, these are your ADC ports. These are analog, they're not digital, which means they're input only. They provide power that is 3.3 volts running through the voltage regu regulator. There is an internal voltage regulator on the EZB, which is a digital switching power supply turning in very low heat and very low current. This is your UART port, U-A-R-T. It is a serial port for TTL communication. On the side, you will see references to each pin. It will provide plus three voltage, as well as ground, receive, and transmit. It has three kilobyte internal buffer for receiving commands. That's 3,000 characters it'll buffer. It will also operate at up to 3.7 megabits per second. These three ports here are your I2C ports. They're for connecting I2C devices, such as the Blinkum or the RGB array. This port here is for your camera. You can plug your Easy Robot camera into this port to give your robot vision. On the back of the EZB, you'll find your speaker for playing digital audio and the power connection. There's only one power connection because you will see inside of all of the bases and robot bodies another wire and they just simply click together.